Hello guys, welcome to my second YouTube video on this Dead God channel. Hope you guys enjoyed my first one. And in today's video, we're gonna actually be playing a new game as the United Kingdom. And uh, so, today, in today's video, we're not gonna be doing any of the tutorial stuff or as I promised last video, sorry attacking uh, a country so we're actually gonna be playing a normal playthrough of the game as if i was the united kingdom so this is going to be a series which i continue forever i mean not like not forever until like i win the game hopefully and so that's exactly what i'm doing so let's just see if this can be Fine, leave it. Anyway, so I built on my army bases so then I can start my motorized infantry. And the next step to my plan is obviously to build arms industry. Then in this game, I'm gonna focus on my navy and let's go for a bit of armor. Maybe let's go for tank destroyer. Yeah, I think we're going to go for tank destroyers, but before we get that, I'm gonna need some more rare materials for which I'm gonna have to pay. So let's just get that done. Da, da, da. Done. And that's beautiful. So that's how we're gonna start. I've already launched my invasion on island. I'm probably gonna invade France as well. Let's check his rank. Ooh, ooh, ooh rank 18. Let's see this. European coalition Spanish players rank O rank 63. Let's see. I'm gonna apply to his coalition. And yes, that is good. So I started my invasion and my troops are mobilizing. I'm actually gonna fly north in London are big threats and Manchester isn't. I'm going to send the troop from Manchester over here and then I'm going to split this to Plymouth. I'm going to split this also to Plymouth since there's less chance that France or Spain will attack Aberdeen or Glasgow than London or Plymouth. So that's how you like figure out where. It's a bit of luck to choose where they're going to attack. If they're smart and they know that, it's kind of like a double-edged sword, you know. Yeah, and Germany is also a high rank. I've actually been accepted into Spain's coalition, and Italy is also part of the coalition at 22. Okay, not that good, but like it's okay. So I'll take Ireland, and then maybe wait, I just maybe we can go for Brussels. Uh, we can go for Netherlands, Belgium, and then maybe we can uh, like use a triple country attack on um, France that's what I'm probably gonna tell them he is a big threat and we should take him out unless he joins Anyway, the good news, Germany is in the coalition. We saw rank 44. So now that's good. France is the only big European nation that's not in our coalition. This is very good news for us. Very, very good. So the threat of France invading us is quite literally gone. Because if France invades us right now, then Italy, Spain and Germany will all come after him. Which is going to be disastrous for him. So it's better if he comes into our alliance. The rank 80. Ukraine wants to join our alliance. Ukraine has built army bases, but like nothing else after that. Rank 16, so that's horrible. Um, Germany is building recruiting offices, which is also good. But I'd rather build uh, arms industries as recruiting offices do nothing other than boost manpower. So that and also it wastes a bit of time. Over here, I'm not sure what Italy is doing. He's not built anything yet, but like, 
Hopefully he does something. Spain's been playing well. Army base is recruiting officers. He's taking on uh, the Portuguese, which is going to be an easy target for him as it's a bot. So yeah, that's about that. My plan after the Corvettes would obviously be to get the Friggies, but I don't have enough rare materials. And spending more money on rare materials is just useless, and I'll be out of money and having a cash problem. So there's that. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for the first video. I'm going to come back very, 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 very soon for the next video. Hope you guys subscribe and like this video. I put a lot of effort into it. And I'll catch you guys next time, my dead priests.